So today we'll be discussing about the noise analysis of CMOS inverter and it's probably the most commonly asked question in to the interviews. But the obvious question is that what does noise mean here, right? And in electrical sense, noise is nothing but for example, if you want to give a 5 volt of signal, but due to something, some coupling, some disturbance inside your chip and which is very obvious because in your chip you have billions of transistor billions of signal going from here and there so there is all the possibility that we will be having some noises or noises means extra voltages right so we want to give 5 volt but due to noise due to additional clipping clamping we are getting 5.2 volt or 4.8 volt so that means we are getting a noise of around 0.2 volt so and that won't be a sinusoidal that would be a random thing like just zigzag it something like this so it will be a zigzag thing but the thing is that our design should be noise proof because we know that there will be noise for sure so that means what we can do we can design something which can kill that noise or which can work as expected in the presence of noise only so for example why we design our inverter our main purpose of our inverter is that there is a threshold voltage vm this is your x axis is your v in and y axis is your v out so we are designing it that if our input it is larger than vm so our output is zero here right so let me give you some practical example for example this is our 5 volt maximum 5 volt is the limit and this vm is your 2.5 volt so any input from this graph you can see any input you give which is more than 2.5 it will be considered as a high input and we will be getting a low output in the output terminal which is the reason we are building an inverter so that means we have a huge area from here to up to here anything in between if you give input that will be registered as a high input and corresponding result will be a low output and anything in between this area from here to here any input will be considered as low input and we will be getting a high output so what's the noise margin here and you can see we wanted a v in equal to zero as a law logic but if it exceed up to 2.5 just less than 2.5 then it will be considered as a law logic only so that means any noise of 2.5 amplitude won't create any issue we want to give zero but due to noise for example of 2 volt noise our input would be zero plus 2 volt so it would be 2 but as this 2 is falling here so we are very safe and our logic low would be logic low in the input side and at the output side we'll get the clean result without any issue of noise we'll get a 5 volt here and same case is here so that means here we are having a noise margin of around 2.5 volt but there would be one question that what will happen if our v in equal to vm you can see this is your vm is just a straight line in reality it never happened but we'll go there a little later so what will happen if your v in is equal to vm we don't know it is a undetermined state it probably it be registered as high or probably as low so that means as a designer we'll just raise our hand we'll say to the user that hey pers hey mr or miss we have designed this inverter to work on this range only and what's the range your v in should be less than 2.5 for a low logic and your v in should be greater should be greater than 2.5 for a high logic that would be the constraint given by a designer to a user if user give v in pinpoint to 2.5 then it is his or her risk we don't know but in real life what is happening see and again this is a series of interview preparation only so i won't be going very deep into the mathematics because that is a examination point of view it is required important but for interview point of view you need to convey the concept the idea why things are happening so that's why i won't go deep into maths but the intuitive feeling only here in real real world we are having something like this this is in real world okay and this is the point our vm 
which we were discussing from many video till now so this is your vm so now tell me if you give any any input less than vm so less than vm means we are around here so will it be a high logic in the output no obviously no if we give something v in here then we would be losing something here so it is obviously probably not a high output because as a high output we are expecting it should be v out or the 5 volt and same case would be true in the other side also so that means here we need to define some constraint to the user by which they can use their inverter successfully so what we do we roughly define a area here which will be defining today only and we say to our user you can give any you can give anything here it's all okay it would be registered as low input you can give anything here which will be registered as high output so now the question is how we decide among these points because this point for sure if our v in is here then this is not corresponding to a the high logic it is little less than high logic right and in this point also if i give a v in here or something more than v in here i am getting some v out some significant amount of value which is not surely zero and which we want so how we decide among these two point so now let me give some input here and my input have some noise here right so what would be the output your output would be fixed in this area roughly in this area our output is fixed and which is equal to 5 volt only or in other sense we can say that at this region our gain is zero why gain is zero just see your gain is defined by your dv out by dv in but you can see our v in is moving but our v out is constant so in derivative sense if something is constant then that derivative would be zero and this is your gain formula so at that region our gain is zero and which is great because in the input we are having some noise but at the output that noise is not reflecting there it is fixed to 5 volt that means noise got killed and that is all perfect same will happen in this area also if i give some very disturbed input also but our output would be stick to zero only which is intended or here also again our noise is got killed now the aim is that we need to define the maximum input level up to which our inverter can work and there would be some indetermined location where input won't be working so we have three reasons actually we have reason one reason two and region three so in region one it is all perfect in region three it's all perfect that here if you give and yeah one thing is correct we still haven't decided this boundary actually what would be their boundary so i'll be deciding on those bounds but yeah we have roughly three region right but what will happen at region two at region two we actually don't know for example if i give any input here if i give any input here then this input if there is no noise will correspond to something here and which we can say here let assume it is a high logic it's all okay but at this location there is a very high gain region if you just remember your analog thing then here we have a very high gain region why i am saying it's a very high gain region because you see let me clean this thing up see see this is your vm and our vm is here 2.5 and this two region are very close to your vm only so probably this is around 2.4 and this is 2.6 in this region but you see if you give something 2.4 here just a 0.1 volt deviation at 2.5 in the output you are getting 2.5 but with only 0.1 deviation in the input you probably reach something here and which probably very close to 5 volt probably 3 volt so that means you are giving a 0.1 volt in the input the difference but at the output what difference you are getting you are getting a huge increment from 2.5 to 3 and this probably not 3 it would be 3.5 or near to 5 also so that means input are very low in this region but output are magnifying so that's why in this region region 2 actually we are having a very high region high gain region so anything you give here any input you give, give here in this point 
it could be because of noise it could lead into a high logic reason or it could lead into a low logic reason so here again because of this non ideality of our inverter we will say to our user hey we have designed this inverter to work in this one region and third region if your input fall in region 2 then we don't know what will happen and that will actually define the actual noise margin of your inverter previously i show you that example where it is a straight line that is the ideal case that time we are having a noise margin half of the vdt because your vdt was 5 and this is the half way so we are just getting a noise margin of vdt by 2 which is very huge and which is the maximum possible but which is never possible in real life scenario because it will be like this only so now the question is how we decide on this region that this is uh, region 1 2 and 3 this boundary line how we decide on now tell me one thing how we decided this region is okay because at this region our gain was zero so you have any noise that noise is killing by that gain gain is zero so noise is not propagating to next source and up to how much noise we can accommodate because we you have a inverter chain like this okay so i have this noise here and due to the gain of your inverter gain of my inverter means probably we fall in region 2 your noise got amplified so that means we are actually amplifying our noise we don't want to amplify our noise if it is same then it's okay if we can kill it's well and good if we give our input to this region after this inverter chain will get a clean signal because noise is got killed i am giving some signal here which have some noise but it is in region 2 or region 1 so it is getting flat region here right but in case 2 i said okay i have given you this noise embedded signal and this inverter is okay okay and it is not increasing that noise but also not killing your that noise but it is remaining same because noise is not growing so it's all okay so what could be the extreme range of gain which we can accommodate gain equal to zero is perfect but in this region gain is too much which we can't handle right but there would be a golden number up to which gain we can accommodate is surely not more than one if your gain is more than one then you are amplifying your noise which you don't want so what would be the gain zero is all, all okay zero is perfect but there would be some number and yes that golden number is minus one up to why minus one because it is inverter so it will be inverting so minus term would be there but if your gain is one that means if i'm giving a noise of 0.2 volt then in the output also i'll get that 0.2 volt of noise so up to that i can accommodate because noise are not increasing and if we are not increasing our noise then in the future it won't disturb us so that means this extreme region are defined where your slope or gain is minus one you can have formally you can derive it perfectly but for interview it's not necessary for interview we need to tell like what's the region up to which our inverter can work and this region only if i just so in the input it will be called vil and at the output it, it will be called vih input low input high and the if i give a vil in my input then at the output i'll be give, getting VOH and if I give VIH in the input then I'll be getting a VOL at the out. So now you can tell your user that hey because of non ideality of our inverter I was telling previously that your V in could be less than VM or more than VM but don't give it equal to VM where I don't know but now I'll be putting some constraint more constraint and I'll be telling our user that hey your V in could be in the range of 0 to VIL and if your input is in between this then your output would be high and if your V in is in the range from VIH to VDD the maximum then your input would be low so that means i am giving my user this much of noise margin ideally our user should give v in equal to zero for a low logic and v in equal to vdd for a high logic but on add-on we are giving them a range for handling the noise that hey you can give zero also but if there are some noise then your input can go up to vil so that means our noise margin here for the lower side margin and that is your uh, 
VIL because 0 minus VIL or VIL minus 0 is VIL. So, so that means any chip which have a noise up to VIL of amplitude, our inverter will work there because I wanted to give V equal to 0 but because of the noise it is going up to VIL but VIL is all okay because at VIL I am having a gain of minus 1 so noise won't be growing in the next stage so so it's all okay. If this thing is still not clear then let me give you this thing see this is your ground and this is your VDD perfect and your VOH are very close to ground I am correct right and your VOL are very close to ground 0 this is very close to VDD and from the graph you can see your VIL and VIH are very close to the mid half the VM so if this is our VM then this area would be your VIH and this would be your V I L right now we have an inverter here perfect so now we have given a VDD as input the high logic right so if we get a VDD as a VDD as an input for sure we'll be getting a zero output that's perfect but we have the noise which is obvious and due to noise probably our this signal got reduced to the maximum possible limit and that is V I H it got reduced you will say what will happen if it got increased more than VD there are some possibilities but if we in the some defined range then your MOSFET will work perfectly because you are getting the higher side and in the higher side your if you just remember your circuit that your NMOS would be on here for sure until the time your MOSFET won't burn out your output will dissipate output capacitor will dissipate that means in the output you'll get zero only so if you get more than VDD it's all okay the main concern is if you get less than VDD right so here we are getting VIH the maximum maximum possible region because up to here our gain is minus one if we get inside this region then it is the indetermined region that time our output could be anything so luckily we are in VIH range so if you give a VIH due to noise so at the output what you will get you will get from the graph C you will get VOL now this VOL will be getting inside to the second inverter right and here also we could have some noise perfect noise could come anywhere so now tell me this VOL it's a low logic perfect and this VOL to be considered as low for the input of second what is the range of noise you can introduce here how much noise your device circuit can allow so that our output is as expected so from here you can see in the in the first output you are getting VOL due to noise here you can move around VOL but till the time you are in this limit like your VOL is less than VIL our second inverter will consider it as a low logic only so that means we are getting a noise margin of VIL minus VOL or VOL is very close to ground so we can say it is VIL the noise margin in the lower side same thing if you apply for the high voltage that we have given a zero in the input but due to some problematic noise it got increased to VIL so if it is VIL then at the output it would be VOH and here again we can have noise so we are getting here VOH but to your second inverter to consider it's a high logic our noise could disturb it but till the time it don't go below VIH our inverter will consider it's a high and at the output will get the correct result so that means the noise margin we are getting in the high side it's VOH minus VIH and this is your noise margin at the high side and these are the explanation you need to give to your interviewer not so much depth also I am giving you so much depth to be confident but roughly if you can say this thing main interesting thing is this boundary how this boundary got defined this VIH VOL that is the gain minus one maximum student just miss it out trust me so if you can explain this thing like this i hope 
your interview will go perfect way so if you learn something new from this video don't forget to like this video comment down any feedback any confusion you have and we'll see you in the next video till then tata bye bye